It's almost three o'clock in the afternoon, and in Shoe Town, three o'clock means tea time. Inside the little big top, Charlie is extremely busy. He's expecting visitors at any moment. First of all, he rakes the sawdust. Then he dusts his box of magic tricks and lays the table for tea. Second. Charlie's guests have arrived. Typical. Stupid clown or a stupid doorbell. Nothing but a nuisance. Now, just a moment, Sergeant Major. It's very kind of Charlie to invite us for tea, and so I want you to promise me something. No rude remarks about his doorbell and such like. Promise. Very well. Uh, yeah, I promise. Hello, everybody. Come on in. Here you are, Charlie. A present, fresh from my garden. Great. Thanks a lot, Margot. Please make yourselves at home. I'll get the tea ready. Well, this looks absolutely delicious. Spot on, Margot. I'll just sample one of these lovely kits. Sergeant Major, please remember your table manners. At that moment... Charlie reappears, carrying the strangest-looking teapot that you've ever seen. My goodness, Charlie. What sort of teapot is that? This is a tea for four teapot, designed by a very funny and very clever clown. Namely, me. And to everyone's amazement, Charlie pours out four perfect cups of tea, all at the same time, without spilling a single drop. Well... Don Charlie, that's the cleverest teapot that I've ever seen. Meanwhile, Sergeant Major is discovering that his teacup is not exactly, well, normal. And as Charlie does his best to look innocent, Margot finds a plastic spider in her tea. And Trampy tries to eat a rubber sandwich. Uh, up to your usual tricks again, aren't you, Charlie? What else are clowns for? Don't worry, though. Everything else is quite safe to eat. And with that, the shoe people tuck into the lovely food that Charlie has laid out for them. And in next to no time, their plates are empty. Well, Charlie, that was delicious. Thank you so much. Don't mention it, Margot. Now, the time has come to show you my latest trick. But first of all, the table needs clearing. <coughs> Now, oh, that's a clever way to save doing the wash knob. May I borrow your hat, Sergeant Major? Certainly not. Army uniform is not to be abused by clowns. Oh, please, Sergeant Major. Don't be such a spoil sport. Oh, um, uh, very well. But I warn you, Charlie, if... Remember your promise, Sergeant Major. Go ahead, Charlie. Cheers. And in the end, even Sergeant Major. I really don't know why I bother sometimes. Oh, stupid clown. Shoo, 
It's a lovely afternoon in Shoe Town, and the shoe people are out in the park enjoying the warm sunshine. A quick ten mile march is what you need, my lad. Then the rest of us can get back to a spot of shut eh? I know. I'll do some tricks. That's a great idea. Oh, yes, Charlie. Please do. That does it. I'm obviously not going to get any sleep round here. I'm off. Wake me up when it's time to go home. OK, everyone. Today... I'd like to do some animal impressions. The shoe people laugh and laugh. Charlie is definitely the funniest clown in the whole wide world. Now for my next trick. <laughs> Suddenly, to everyone's amazement, the balloon lifts Charlie right off the ground. Stop laughing. So you won't think it's funny, do you? One of us may have been injured. Oh dear, Sergeant Major, that wasn't a shot you heard. That was Charlie bursting a balloon. Ho <laughs> ho! Charlie, was it? A mate of noon. You're a public menace, that's what you are. Nothing but a nuisance. I'm very sorry if I frightened you, Sergeant Major. Frightened? Me? Frightened? Now, look here, clown! <laughs> right. That does it. Never in all my life. Come on now, Sergeant Major, give us a smile. There's no harm in the lad. We're only having fun. So don't be so cross with him. Oh, uh, 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 very well, then. I suppose it wasn't such a bad trick after all. <laughs> Stupid clown! Every time you're skipping down the street Think about the shoes upon your feet Today it's a magic world When your toes on the ground sh 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 Night time in Shoe Town, and PC Boot 
is writing up the daily report from his notebook. Now let me see. At nine o'clock this morning, I was on my usual beat and stopped to admire the view. Everything was quiet and peaceful, so I decided to go and have a cup of tea with Charlie. Hello there, PC Boot! Charlie's not in this morning. He's gone to collect his new car. He should be back soon, though. Oh, well, I might as well wait for him. Very quiet and peaceful today, isn't it? It certainly is that. It's so quiet. By the day, watch. Left. I left. think we spoke left. too soon right. there, Trampy. Left. 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 Right. Left. Morning. Left. Left. Right. Left. Left. He does this every morning. But don't worry. He'll soon be finished. Hot chill. Chop. There you go, PC Boot, all lovely and peaceful again. Now, as I was saying... <laughs> Goodness gracious! Now what? Stay calm, everybody. I'll handle this. All your Sergeant Major. Everybody. Stupid clown! Ought to be arrested immediately. Arrest Charlie? Whatever for? For being in charge of a very dangerous and extremely noisy vehicle. Well, what do you think of my new car, Trampy? It's uh, beautiful, Charlie. I'll open the door for you. Whoops. Oh, Charlie, I'm so sorry. Don't worry. It's supposed to do that. This is the very latest model in clown cars. And it does all sorts of tricks. Watch this. PC Boot and Trampy think that Charlie's car is marvellous. Sergeant Major, though, isn't so sure. Hello, Sergeant Major. Would you like to try out my new car? Certainly not. That thing is not safe. Should be banned. Hey, Charlie, do you mind if I try it? Not at all. <laughs> uh, another trick, I hope, Charlie. Sergeant Major, would you mind checking the petrol cap for me? Very well, but no tricks. Press the green button, please, Trampy. What's this, then? Brass polish? Yes, a special present from my new car, just for you. For me? <laughs> Thank you very much. Just what I need for my new badge. As you know, maybe it's not such a bad car after all. <laughs> And I think Charlie's new car likes you too, Sergeant Major. Later on, at Shootown Police Station, PC Boot is coming to the end of his report. There. That should do it. I hope tomorrow is a quieter day. Good night, everyone. Shoe people like nothing better than spending sunny afternoons on the boating lake. And today is no exception. Enjoying yourself, Margot? Oh, yes. It was so nice of you to invite me. Oh, look at those lovely little ducklings. Aren't they sweet? Yes, they are. 
and in a couple of months they'll lose their yellow fluffiness and grow white feathers just like their mums and dads. Trampy and Margot are so interested in watching the ducklings, they forget to look where they're going and... <coughs> I think we're stuck. Oh, Trampy, whatever shall we do? First of all, try to keep calm and think of a solution. I know what we'll do. Help! Help us, please! Donkey, donkey, donkey. Help! Help! Hello! Help! I Help! do believe somebody is calling. Help! Why, it's Trampy and Margot. Afternoon, Trampy! PC Boot, thank goodness it's you. We're stuck on this mud bank and can't get off. Don't worry, Trampy. I'll go and get help immediately. Now, let me see. Three o'clock, patrolling boating lake, ten past three, hear cry for help, twelve minutes past three... Excuse me, PC Boot. Would you mind taking your notes later? Oh, of course. I'll be right back. Um, don't go away. Don't go away. Now I ask you. I wonder if Wellington's caught anything yet. Wait a minute. Hmm, now, that gives me an idea. Hello, Wellington. Do you think I could have a quick word? Certainly, yeah. What can I do for you? Well, we have a little problem, you see. Oh, Trampy. Do you think we're going to be stuck out here all night? Don't worry, Margot. If anyone can get us off this mud bank, PC Boot can. Hello out there. Everything still OK? Yes, we're fine. Hello, Wellington. Have you come to watch the fun? Ah, yes, uh, Wellington. He's an important part of this rescue mission. He's going to wade out to you as far as he can and then use his fishing rod to try and hook the back of your boat. So I want you both to move into the front and keep clear of the hook. Aye, aye, Skipper. Get ready. Here he comes. I should be able to reach the boat from here. Go ahead, Wellington. It's hooked. It's working. Nearly there. We're free. Well done, Wellington. Wellington reels the boat in. And in no time at all, Trampy and Margot are safely back on dry land. Thank you, PC Boot. And thank heavens you were here, Wellington. Yes, that certainly was a clever idea of yours, PC Boot. Oh, it was nothing, Margot. Wellington deserves all the credit. No problem. It's the only thing I've caught all day. It's the end of another day in Shoe Town, and Trampy is relaxing in his favourite armchair in front of a blazing fire. The warmth of the fire starts to make Trampy feel dozy, and before long his eyes close and he is fast asleep and dreaming. Dreaming of a lovely spring day in the countryside and going on one of his favourite walks with Baby Booty. Meanwhile, back at Tumbledown House, strange things are happening. Well, Sergeant Major, is he in? Shh! Shh! 
stupid clown. Hello, Jackie. Right, I'll go first. You lot stay here. All right, Margo. Coast is clear. Goodness gracious. We'll never be able to clean up this before Trampy gets back. Don't worry, Margo. We'll have this house shipshape in no time. Shipshape? I rather like it the way it is. House shape? Stupid clown. You know very well what I mean. Now let's get on with it, Margo. <laughs> and you, Charlie. Take the kitchen. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. And I want it spotless. Do I make myself clear? Everyone, jump to it. On the double. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, dear, Charlie. What a sight. No problem, Margo. If you wash and I dry, we'll soon have this lot finished. That's a marvelous trick, Joy, but please don't try it with the plates. is transformed. Never has it looked so clean. The sitting room has been thoroughly dusted and polished, carpet swept, cupboards tidied. The kitchen is spotlessly shiny. Even the doors have been mended. Oh, <laughs> now that's more like it. A sight for sore eyes. I wonder what Trampy will say when he sees what we've done. Trampy? He probably won't even recognise the place. <laughs> You're right there, Charlie, my lad. Tumble down house is tumble down no more. Touch wood. <laughs> Hello, Trampy. Lovely morning. Goodness gracious. What's the rush? Whew. Thank goodness. Nothing's changed. Anything wrong with Trampy? Wrong? Oh, no, PC Boot. I just had a terrible dream, that's all. I dreamt that my lovely tumble-down house wasn't tumble-down anymore. Tumble-down house, not tumble-down? <laughs> Never! There's great excitement in Shoe Town today. The fair has come to town. <laughs> we can look forward to a slice of coconut tonight. Just set them up and I'll... Knock them down. As you've been telling us all day. Well, what's wrong with that? You all like coconut, don't you? Yes, Sergeant Major, we all love coconuts. But really, there's no need to go on. I'm going to stuff myself full of candy floss and ice cream. You would. And probably make yourself sick. Ha, 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 ha. With any luck.
PC Boot? Look, I've won a teddy bear for Baby Booty. Have you seen her anywhere? Indeed I have. She's up on the big wheel with Margo. It's their tenth ride, I think. Look, Baby Booty, there's Sergeant Major. shall we do? Hang on, Margo! We'll think of something! Won't we, Sergeant Major? Oh, well, give me a minute. Uh, I'm thinking. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Well, Sergeant Major? Ah, uh, well, now, I think that... Goodness gracious! Look at Charlie, everyone. Charlie, what on earth are you doing? Rescuing Margot and Baby Booty. What else? Good old Charlie. Followed my plan to the letter. <laughs> rescuing us, Charlie. I'd better take Baby Booty home now. She's still a little upset. Upset? Well, we can't have that, can we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All of this excitement's made me quite hungry. Let's go and find some food. Funny you should say that. Look what I've got. Now that'll bring the day to a perfect end. in Shoe Town, and PC Boot has just sat down to his lunch. Shoe Street Police Station, PC Boot speak. Eh. Shoe Street Police Station, PC Boot speak. PC Boot? Thank heavens you're in. Mr. Potter, the station master here. I've got a terrible problem. Mr. Potter, please calm down and tell me what's the matter. I've got a train full of passengers going for a day's outing. But the train's falling across the tracks. Whatever shall I do? Don't worry, Mr Potter. I'll just go and collect Sergeant Major. And we'll both be with you in about ten minutes. Well, Sergeant Major, what do you think? Tricky, but nothing to the spot of army training. An elbow grease can't put right. Oh, please do hurry. I've got a schedule to keep. As my old commanding officer used to say, more haste, less speed. So stand back and watch an expert at work. Right. Put it in reverse. Oh, 
It's no use. The tree's too heavy. It would take an elephant to shift it. An elephant? Hmm. That gives me an idea. Well, that does it then. I'll just have to cancel the trip. I think that's everyone off. Hang on a minute. Where's Charlie? Probably up to a mischief somewhere, I'll bet. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Meet Bertha. Where on earth did you find that? Shoe Town Zoo, of course. And she's the best tree mover in the business. Ready, Bertha? Lift. Come on, Bertha. You can do it. Lift. Well done, Bertha. Marvellous. Thank goodness for that. Here you are, Bertha. A present for being such a clever elephant. <whistles> All aboard! Within a couple of minutes, the shoe people are back on the train. Sergeant Major, PC Boot and Bertha stand ready to wave goodbye. <whistles> Ah, oh, pissy boot. That was a good job. Well done. Thanks to Charlie. Using Bertha was a marvellous idea. Oi! That's my kick! Bring it back at once! I said come back with my kick, is that clear? Wait till I get on the parade round, you great Harry. And Ray. now perhaps I can get back to my lunch. It's a beautiful morning, and over at Swan Lake Cottage, Margot is watering the flowers in her garden. Morning, Margot. <laughs> Lovely day, isn't it? Oh, Sneaker, I wish you wouldn't do things like that, creeping up on people. Uh, sneaker by name, sneaker by nature. That's me. Any jobs you want doing? Well, as a matter of fact, I do have a job. I'd like you to climb up on my roof and clear away all the leaves that are stuck in the thatch. Do you think you can do that? Mm. Uh, no problem at all, Margot, but I'll need to fetch some ladders and stuff. Back soon. I wonder if Charlie's in. Obviously not. I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow one of his tightrobes for an hour. Hang about. That's a bit of luck. A ladder. Just what the doctor ordered. I'm sure Trampy won't miss it. Hello, hello. A bucket. Typical trampy bucket. Full of holes. Uh, but it'll do to put leaves in. Sneaker makes his way back to Swan Lake Cottage. And in a few minutes, he's up on the roof, busily picking up leaves.
at the little big top. Charlie! Can you hear me? Trampy, what are you doing up there? Well, I thought it was about time I repaired a few tiles. But now my ladder's disappeared and I can't get down. Strange. Your ladder and my tightrope missing. This looks like a job for PC Boot. PC Boot is on the scene within minutes and takes down all the details in his notebook. Right then, Charlie. That's all I'll need for the moment. I'll start the investigation right away. OK, PC Boot. See you later. Hey, don't worry, Trampy. We'll have you down in a... Goodness gracious! Is that your ladder, Trampy? What ladder? Oh, now how did that get there? Well, if you don't know, I certainly don't. Or do. I'd put it there. I borrowed it and Charlie's rope to do a little job for Margo. Well, you're in for the high jump now, my lad. Charlie and Trampy thought their property had been stolen. Stolen? Not stolen. Just borrowed. Sorry if I caused any trouble. It won't happen again. Promise. I think he means it, PC Boot. Let him off. Just this once. Thank you, Trampy. I'll repair all your tiles free. And I'll paint all your tightrope posts, Charlie. No charge. Well, all right. I'll let you off this time. But this is your last warning. You're too quiet for your own good. Always sneaking about the place. I can't help it. After all, I am called Sneaker. <laughs> In a town, not too far from here, there's an old shoe repairer shop. The outside of the shop looks very run down and uncared for. Even the window needs cleaning. The front of the shop is where the shoe mender keeps all his tools. There, he can repair the shoes and boots brought into him. When they're repaired, he places them on shelves ready for their owners to collect. Some people are very forgetful and never come back to collect them. Others bring in shoes and boots that are so worn, they're beyond repair. He's asked to throw them away, but he just can't. <laughs> <laughs>